Good morning. Some people had expressed an interest in seeing the steamer that I used to make steam uh, chair parts, and this is it. First of all, I want to say that there is no best way of doing this. Anything you can build that can keep your parts in fully surrounded by steam and up to the proper temperature for the right amount of time will work. So use your imagination. I've seen pictures of steamers made out of stove pipe, PVC pipe, uh, pretty much anything. Mine is made out of three quarter inch plywood. It is four feet long. The inside is seven inches square. I simply made a simple locking joint to hold everything in place. The steam is distributed in the box with a one inch steel pipe. It's capped on each end. There is a T in the middle to let the steam come up in from the, uh, from the pot that's where the water's boiling. Uh, on the pipe, there are quarter inch holes drilled every inch and a half. They're close to the top of the alternate from side to side. There are six half inch holes drilled in the bottom to allow water to drain out and some steam to drain out so it can continue to flow into the box. The doors are simply hinged with an offset handle. The weight of the handle itself holds the door closed, but I can also latch it if I need to. My box has a double level of rails, so I can hold two layers of parts in here, an upper and a lower. I have used supports, anything from plastic coated steel parts, uh, rails, to fiberglass rods, happen to be old arrows, um, and also some chopsticks. The last time I steamed, I steamed red oak for the first time, I had steel rods in here, and that steel reacted with the tannins in the wood and left horrible black stains on the parts. So I took them out and fishing around, I found I had chopsticks. They were exactly the right length and fit in just right. I monitor the temperature with a, uh, a baking thermometer. I have several different holes drilled in the box. This works perfectly. The hole I use most often is near the top and right in the middle. It's easy to see. My cooker is a 20 quart stock pot. It sits on a regular propane heater. I have drilled a hole in the top, put a tubing fitting on it. It's one inch, one inch diameter rubber, rubber hose. Goes up in the top with a similar fitting that ties right into the iron pipe that goes up into the steam box. Uh, this tubing was a little bit thin intended to uh, flatten when I bent it, so I added the wire to it just to keep it stiff regular radiator hose would work better. The other addition I make is I add a little less than one ounce per gallon of ammonia as a surfactant. That helps to break down the tension in the water and absorb in uh, or uh, improve absorption of the water into the wood as it steams. The target temperature you want, you want to steam your wood for one hour per inch at 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees C. You can make your own conversions. That is the recommended time for thickness of your wood. So uh, wood that's a half inch thick will only take a half an hour if it's two inches thick and take longer and so forth. Okay, thank you very much.